Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Autumn and this is a follow-up of a past tutorial that I made, the Fake Reflections tutorial. If you haven't seen that video yet, I recommend you do before watching this follow-up tutorial. Previously, we learned how to set up the fake reflections using the node setup, tweaking its material, and how light can affect these fake reflections. And in this tutorial, you'll learn a better way to set up the fake reflections to get even better results and more info on how light can affect these fake reflections. So basically, this is like an extended follow-up rather than a second part video follow-up, if you know what I mean. So in our scene, we have a few objects with a glossy material reflecting the world HDRI texture around us. Now as you can see, we now have two more cubes that have the same material but are reflecting a different HDRI. If you look at the cube on the left, it has a pretty smooth and accurate reflection of a force HDRI, as if that was the actual world HDRI. And if we take a look at the cube on the right, we get this stretched out, corrupted, and inaccurate access rotated HDRI reflections. And as you can see, it's showing the same texture on all sides as if it were to be unwrapped on all sides. I don't know. So let's try to see what we can do. We're using an image texture node for the reflection, and since it's a cube, why don't we change the projection from flat to box? Well, as you can see, it made it look a little better, but now we're getting these repeating seams of the HDRI texture. See how it repeats itself? And the HDRI still shows the entire texture on all sides. Well, you see, this won't actually look that bad if you're using this trick on a one-sided material or on one face, rather than multiple faces like this cube. But to fix this, we should be using an environment texture node, rather than an image texture node. So just hook it up to your gloss material, and now we get this accurate result, as a reflection doesn't cause any stretched, corrupted, repeating, or tiled messy result. We now get the result as if it was actually reflecting the world HDRI that's around us. And remember, if you have no idea what's going on, or you're lost, be sure to watch the first part of the fake reflections tutorial before watching this one. Now if we mix it with a diffuse shader and a Fresnel or layer weight node, it'll show the reflection of the texture depending on where the brightest light source in the scene is and how close it is to the mesh. And the rules of reflection effects still apply, Fresnel, roughness, etc, etc. Alright, thanks for watching! Remember to watch the first part if you haven't yet, because if you haven't, I'm pretty sure you were confused as to what was even happening. But if you found this tutorial helpful, or just learned something interesting in this video, please leave a like to show your support, and comment telling me what your thoughts was on this follow-up. Thank you so much, get to Bon Bon.